one wicket in the first innings. I thought he was pretty good this morning, uh, or early this afternoon when we started. Anderson. From the Birmingham end, he was. His pavilion end. Is it, is it called the pavilion end, this, this end? It'll do, yeah. It'll do? Yeah. <laughs> He used to have called the pavilion and before they sort of knocked it all down yeah, and right. built this amazing stand in which we're sitting. It's a wonderful stand, isn't yeah. it? And well, it used to be called the city end, now it's called the Birmingham end. Oh, right. people, people need to be a bit more patient with their end naming, don't they? <laughs> Stick with it. Right, here's Anderson to Kawaja. Still there, Anderson bowls. Kawaja lets it go by outside the off-stump. That was in a good channel. But, I mean, Kawaja, he's got the... Well, the, the cliche is patience of a saint, but I think he's patience of a of a saint squared, really. I don't, I mean, he just stuck it out in this test match. 39 from 129 balls. If you want to watch that wicket of Travis Head, it uh, will be on the BBC website very shortly on app as well. It might already be up there today at the test. BBC Two, iPlayer, 7 o'clock. Anderson bowls to Kawaja. Kawaja drives, slices that away. He's going to get at least a run down towards deep backward point. It will only be a single. Prepared to take it on there, Kawaja. He really has reined himself in. How many runs has he scored today? Let's have a look. He started 34, so he scored only six runs today. In an hour and 20 minutes. Is that right? 48 balls he's faced today. What time did we start? Was it 2.15 or 2.30? 2.15. Yeah. Right, Cameron Green. And the firing line. Under the spotlight now. A very talented young cricketer. Make no mistake about that. It's a day in which to forge a reputation, really. 1.44 for five. 2.81 to win. And Stokes is taking his time over the field for Cameron Green. And it is not what you would call a conventional field for a new batter against Jimmy Anderson. There's a silly mid-on, short extra cover, short mid-wicket, only one slip. Anderson goes in, bowls to Green, who pushes forward and misses. In the channel outside the off-stump. Uh, nerves are jangling out there. I think Cameron Green's heart is beating a little bit quicker than it normally does. Uh, this is why you play, I think, for moments like this. Without a doubt. Beautiful delivery, Jimmy Anderson. Just that corridor, just that fourth stump line. Cameron Green committed to playing it. Just got his hands away from his body a little bit. Anderson to Green, and Green forward there. The ball on off stump, and located somewhere near the middle of the bat. And played it up towards mid-off. And there's no run. I love it how the crowd, the crescendo, and then the quiet. Just relax <laughs> for a moment. And then get back into it again. So you've got Crawley in there at Cinnamon on. Normally in the line of where the, the non-striker mm. would run, but Kawhi just had to go wide onto a, a green pitch there. Anderson bowls to Green. He slides on past the outside edge again. It goes through low. There's an appeal from Ben Stokes, a short extra cover. Nothing from Anderson and very little from Bairstow. If there was a noise there, it probably, probably was inside edge onto pad. The sound there, or just clipping the boot. Let's have another look at this one. Didn't feel like it was... Well, he, no, actually, he was away from the pad, so if there was a noise... Uh, Bairstow's just getting excited. He's caught up in the whole moment of it. I mean, why wouldn't he be? Everyone is involved. Crawley holds up play, he's a, a handkerchief, drops out of his trousers. Anderson, bowling to Green, he's with him now. Green edges, through second slip for four. Whether it would have carried if there'd been a second slip, I'm not sure. It'd been a very low one, probably not. Probably would have bounced in front of a second slip. Well, that was a very good over from Jimmy Anderson. Went past the outside edge twice, took the outside edge once. Green is away. 148 for five. Kawaja still there on 40. I think he'll be batting on Thursday, but will he find some partners to bat with him? Uh, more from you, uh, Jason, and then it will be Jonathan Agnew. 
Very good first over from James Anderson. The line, the probing on off stump, fourth stump line, very good. The length, again, play knee roll height. Pretty much every delivery that was online with, in line with the stumps would have hit the stumps. So he's keeping the stumps in play. Day five, test match surface. Very good bowling from the experienced James Anderson. Well, great tension. You can feel it. It's been <laughs> down there on the balcony outside where the cameras are. Really soak up the sound and noise. Mowing round the wicket, moves in bowls to Kawaja. Gives up a little bit of room, gets a shortish ball and can just slide that away off the face of the bat to duck it. He's out on that point boundary to our, our left-hand side. And that wicket were really boy mowing because he was obviously in a lot of pain when he was warming up. In fact, he only bowled half a dozen balls. But uh, an early wicket and some spin. And that'll make him feel better. Hopefully, just uh, forget about the finger for a while. Well, 149 for five. Green on four. Towering figure is over his bat. Slip, short leg crouching. Moen comes in, bowls to him. He leans forward. He played a very expansive drive in the first innings. Spun a long way. Mm. But I think he'll be putting that shot away for now. No, it was a classic off spinner's wicket, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. The sun's with us again. Moen over the wicket. Bowls and green forward. And big stride. It's well down the pitch. Moen's able to field that and wipes his hand in the dirt and the dust walks back to his mark again another little bit of fiddling there of the field as stokes is moving pots back a bit <laughs> backward point so next one forward comes green playing out to uh, short mid wicket yes pots a backward square leg i should say so he's on the field for broad at the moment i don't see that big sun hat out there no <laughs> Terrific spell from him. Yeah, it really was. Moen again, bowls. It's a little shorter, flatter. Green on the back foot, plays out to mid-wicket. Not really allowed to go off for a rest, so he must have come up with some no. some reason to go and change boots or, or something. That's the usual ruse. No, just make up a reason. Comfort break. Comfort break. Mm. One forty-nine for five. Moeen bowls. Green again. Stubbornly forward. Moeen feels nice tidy over though. Yeah. That's the one off it. And how many runs has Kawaja scored today from how many balls, Andy? Uh, he is now forty-one from one hundred and thirty-one. So he's faced fifty balls for seven runs. I, mean, I don't think it'll bother him necessarily, but he does seem a bit bogged. It certainly does. It's a question of what pressure he puts on the other end as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, let's let's give uh, let's give the bowlers a little bit of credit as well. I think yeah. they bowled, bowled very tidily. The, the fields that Ben Stokes has set have, have been there in outfields that we speak about. You see that more with spinners, but for the seamers, it's like some in out fields, and it's you know you get your line and length right, it can be quite difficult to score. And very little pace in the pitch, too. It's not coming onto the bat. Sure. They have bowled very well at him. 149 for five. Anderson continues from this pavilion end. Away he goes, round the wicket, bowls, and quite a flicks that a little lazily into the leg side. He was in the air for a while. Landed about a yard or so in front of Pope, who's fielding at mid-wicket. With a bottom hand in there. He seems just... Totally unraffled though, he just, uh, he just, he just wanders round, still got his sleeveless sweater on. Yeah. I don't think his heart rate's got above 70. No, he just, just waits over his bat again. In fact, Pope's going a bit closer there, so actually if he'd been standing there, he'd probably have taken the catch. Carey and Cummins to come. Anderson bowls and Kawaja stands up and plays one that just bounces a little more than expected there into the offside Crawley's the fielder at point crowd goes so quiet <laughs> waiting aren't they the anticipation and get revved up for every ball saw Zach Crawley and uh, Harry Brook 
uh, last night. I was with the tour group. Oh, we, right. we went to a, an Italian restaurant and the yeah. two lads walked in and must have been a pizza or something. <laughs> nice. Anderson bowls and Kwaja gets a run. Played off his pads out to duck it into the deep square leg. So uh, 150 comes up. And that's the 455th ball Usman Kawaja has faced in this test match. Wow. In his two previous Ashes series, six tests, 12 innings, he faced 454 balls. <laughs> yeah, he's played very, very well. A dogged sort of innings is the play he's played here. Fair to say, I think the pitches of the last two series had a bit more in them and challenged him rather more outside the off stump yeah. than this one does. Yeah. Two slips are there for Cameron Green and a man on the drive at uh, extra cover the target 281 he needed 131 more to win Anderson's on his way bowls full Green drives firmly and as far as mid-off though he it cleanly so, pops again Ben Stokes has positioned himself incredibly close at second slip Obviously, the ball last over that Cameron Green edged through that vacant second slip was probably not going to carry to a conventional second slip, but he, he's really close. And sometimes you see on a, a late innings, um, the second slip actually wears a helmet. No, he's, he, he's ridiculously close there. Anderson runs in bowls. Green lets it go through. I wonder if he can actually see it. I mean, Ian Botham used to stand in that position quite a lot back in the day. Very close at second slip. He would never have worn a helmet beefy, would he? <laughs> no, not for, certainly not for fielding. But um, it just goes so fast, doesn't it? But then the interesting thing is, is that Stokes very rarely fields at slip these days. He's got uh, badly damaged fingers, and um, so I wonder how much practice he's had, actually, because I suspect he doesn't do a lot of close catching that's, practice. That's a very good point. Anderson runs in, bowls to Green, in swing, a hit on the pad, but I think via the inside edge, because Stokes was up there at that second slip position, Anderson started to appeal and then stopped, and it looked pretty straight, and it actually kept a little bit low too, so I think there must have been a little inside edge on that that they all heard. But, uh, trapped halfway forward and definitely some in-swing. Much better spell from Anderson, he looks like he's got some rhythm. 150 for five, Kwaja's 42, and Green has four, so England have taken two wickets. All right, watch from Boland, after he hung around rather longer than England would have liked. And then Travis Head, an important wicket, is the, the, the shot player, really. My green, so is Green, too, but Kwaja at the moment is just, uh, well, he's like a limpet. Just hanging on in there. Hardly played a shot in anger, but England have bowled very accurately at him. And now Moeen from the city end moves in round the wicket, tosses mm. it up. Oh, it's a terrible ball. It's a full toss. And flogged out towards deep square leg for four. The only hope there was it could have dragged it round to the one fielder who's out there, but Moeen got that wrong. It's be it the finger or sweaty hands or, or something, and well, that's obviously slipped. Doesn't normally bowl uh, a knee high full toss like that ebony yeah that was uh i think there's going to be one or two that are an inevitable he's doing a good job by probing away and most probably just trying to park the pain in the head but there will be one or two that just yeah don't quite get the grip on because of that finger here he comes around the wicket again lower arm tickled around the corner again he looks straight at his finger i'll come back for a second here it was a lower arm and quicker Again, not quite where he'd wanted, and again, he's rubbing that finger in the soil. It's mm. as if he's trying to coat the injury in the soil, but it's obviously loose, and yeah, this is not working. Doing it again now, look. Yeah, Root's only bowled one over, but it might be that whether it needs a rest or he just comes in for a couple of overs here and there, but it, he's got to power through this. It is legal, by the way, before anyone uh, says anything, to, uh, to do that, to dry your hands like that. And this is uh, short, and flicked away the mid on, doesn't quite carry. <laughs> that Badly was... mistimed by Kawaja. That was a bit of village cricket, to be fair. Mm. It was dragged down, didn't come out right, like you say, round arm from Ali, and then 
Oh, you just lost a bit of con concentration. That stirs the crowd again. Oof. Yeah, poor ball, poor shot. Didn't quite carry to to mid on. Here is again bowling on the leg stump. Turn around the corner. There's a fielder there now. It's Crawley. And again, we have that fielder lurking directly behind the umpire. Well, directly behind Moeen Alley, to be accurate. And about five yards in from the boundary. So it's right in Quadra's eye line. Moeen in bowls. It's short. Oh, yeah. Not a good ball. And Quadra's missed out again. Short ball. We should really have put that away. Oh, his eyes lit up a bit too hard. Sometimes when you go through a period where you've been had some tight bowling at you and then you get a few freebies, you just, mm. yeah, just fail to latch on. I think Moen's struggling here. Bad full toss and then these ones have been dragged down. He comes again, bowls on the leg stump, tickled around the corner to the, that backward square leg fielder where Crawley fields. Well, Moen takes his cap. And Stokes are really applauding very energetically, saying well done. It's the way he's, he's, almost, he's almost using the, well, I think he is using the soil mm. dust to try and stick into the, into the wound. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal long term, is it? No. Might get you through the game, but... But it'll be loose as well, so yeah. it, it, what, what grip it can possibly give. But he's soldiering on, Ms. Moeen. He's heading off into the deep down at long leg. He's getting a, a friendly round of applause. 156 for five. So the target 281, 125 more runs are needed as Anderson sets off again. Stokes once more in that very close position at second slip and Green drives into the offside. It won't go for four. Duckett's after it. He'll get two. A little burst of run scoring here from the Australians. 158 for five. So 123 more needed. 47 overs remain, so there's no pressure on time at all, and there's no cut-off, so it's just a question of, of bad light, possibly, or rain or something, but uh, it hasn't got to be done by a certain time. Anderson bowls, and Green stands up, plays out to cover. In fact, next door on the television, you get a... Amongst all the data that's on a screen, there is an estimated finish time. Mm. And when I just got off just now, that finish time was 10 to 8. <laughs> which makes a, a programme starting at 7 o'clock and ending at 8 o'clock quite an interesting challenge. Well, that's the estimated time. If, if it goes the whole way down to... Playing the full overs. The last over of the day, they reckon at the moment it's going to be about 10 to 8. <laughs> 158 for 5. Green over his bat. Crawley is quite close there at extra mm. cover. Anderson wheels round again, moves in, bowls to Green, who waits for this to arrive. He dabs it carefully into the offside. It runs down to Gully. Mm. Yeah, they're all creeping, aren't they? Stokes at second slip is pretty tight. Mm. Extra cover. And then you get a burst of enthusiasm from the crowd. Just can't resist themselves. Tuesday afternoon in Edgebaston full. I wish you could get every test playing country administrator here and say, look what you can do. In comes Anderson, bowls wider the offstep. Oh, that was a tempter. Yeah, Green let it go. That was a tempter. He saw the bat got up high. He ended up leaving it. Yeah, it would be good to see outside the top three, really, wouldn't yeah. it? Look what you can do. This is test cricket, Tuesday afternoon. Of course, it's it's England Australia. It's, it is uh, it is special, but it demonstrates the interest. It's still very much there. I guess it'd be like this for India against Pakistan. It's it's sad that those two don't play each other. One fifty-eight for five. Anderson wheels round again. Cloud overhead at the moment. It's, He's on his way past the umpire, bowls to Green, a tempter, <laughs> full again and quite wide of the off stump. And Green let it go by. I don't know how your uh, patience is, but just looking at those two as a, a twitch, you know when it's that sort of width, fifth stump, mm. 
Yeah, and my old school batter in me is just twitching, thinking, go on, go on, lace it through point. I know you shouldn't. Even he's shaping up. He's I didn't see to... you lacing too much through point with that, <laughs> that thing downstairs where you faced hey, Shane Warne. You didn't hey. lace much through point there. I beat Athers. Athers got six, I got ten. Yeah, well, there was a crucial difference. <laughs> In goes Anderson. Bowls outside the off stump. Dabbed away to backward point. Duckett 